hello friends today in this tutorial i'll be talking about a new tool which is introduced by github basically it's an artificial intelligence programming tool which helps the programmers to write code automatically so basically this is the official website of github copilot so basically here you need to sign up for this tool here and it can be used in any editor such as visual studio code atom or any brackets any ide that you have so simply you need to click the sign up button and uh, just you need to join inside this uh, github copilot waitlist so i have already done that so you can see github copilot is already enabled on your account so now i will simply go to visual studio code text editor so right here inside this you need to go to the extensions tab and you need to search for this extension which is called as github copilot so this is the extension here so simply you need to install this uh, extension which is visual studio code extension i have already installed it so you will see this already enabled inside my account so right here you need to let me show you a very basic example of how it is very much useful so let's suppose you want to write any sort of code any sort of function so i will say get current date so after writing this comment basically it will suggest me this code here so i can select based upon if i just write this function keyword here in the auto suggest you will see it will give me all these codes here so in order to select this code you will press the tab keyboard inside your keyboard so just press this and after that it will suggest you the code here you will see that this is automatically fetched from this tool github copilot so just press the tab keyboard and that's it this will get the current date and time so now you in order to call this so we will simply say call current date so in the next line automatically this will say so i am not writing this code it is automatically writing this using artificial intelligence so we can console of this so basically if i want to run this file here so i can wrap this inside a html file here let me make it a html file so basically this is the method by which you will get the current date and time this is the current date day month and year so based upon that guys this is valid for every language so if you are working in python also so if you want to have any sort of code that you need to write in python let's suppose python script to print hello world so you just need to write comment like this and if in the next line it will automatically write this code for you so just type definition so all these uh, suggestions will come here you will see print hello world so instantly it will print out this code here you will see that and after that you can call your function you will see automatically it is writing your code here so you don't need to do anything you will see that so now you can run your python python script here so hello world is printed out so in this way guys you can just write the comment and you can do it you can also say declare five numbers in array format so automatically in the next line it will declare this so let's suppose we are taking an example of node js so inside node js we have a express app that we need to make so i can simply install the express package here so now all the boilerplate code that we write inside our express application we need to import the express package we need to start the express application at a particular port number all that boilerplate code can be pre-written by using this package so i will simply write the package here so, sorry comment line that require express 
library so if you just write this in the next line automatically it will prompt you you will see it is automatically required the express library so now it is automatically just recommending me the next steps that I want to take so in express application you do need, do need to require body parser middleware as well so you can see that it is automatically doing this it is also telling me if you are using mongoose library you need to also recommend this so just press the tab key if you want to include this automatically it is fetching it you don't did not have to do anything so you can see that so this is artificial intelligence github copilot co tool guys so it is automatically writing the code i am not writing the code so this is a nice thing about this tool guys you don't need to write anything automatically this tool will write the tool for you so basically if you want to don't you uh, if you don't want to use this you just need to write the comment based upon what you need to do so let's suppose i will say here uh, use express or make express app the next step that we do so after writing this comment it will suggest you the step here and now we need to tell it that uh, declare port number so now it will declare the port number 3000 and then we need to we will simply say that uh, make a index route so automatically it will write this code guys you will see that automatically it is doing it now we will say start server so it will start this server on this port number so you will see that example app is listening on port 3000 so i have haven't written any sort of code guys it is automatically written all this code i need not have to do anything so you can just see how easy it is to do this so now if you also want to use uh, other dependencies in, inside node.js you can also do that you can also write this like this start express app like this so let's suppose you are using another dependency which is quite used in node.js which is malter which is used to upload files on the server so i will install this npm i malter so in the same way we will write the comment require malter so it will automatically suggest it and uh, the next step in malter is to make a dig storage if you just write this it will automatically suggest you this the code here which is required this is a destination so the best thing about this guys you don't need to go to stack overflow every time you write some code this tool can automatically solve all your problems in one go so that's the good thing that i liked about this tool github copilot so basically every time we faced a problem we in the earlier times we need to go to stack overflow for every problem but using this tool you don't need to left your code editor you can instantly use it and uh, here we will say initialize malter the comment can be anything you can it will automatically uh, write the code for you depending upon your comment so you can see it is automatically initialize it by passing the storage and now you just need to make a post request to upload file I will say here single file so now it will prompt me you will see that 
this is the actual code which is written to upload a file this is the route now I will write another comment make a post request to upload multiple files so now it will say it will automatically write this code for uploading multiple files here you will see this is the code here which is required so this is a great tool guys I can't cover everything about this tool so you can play with this tool just install the extension it is available in each and every editor if you are using Atom, JetBrains or uh, any editor that you are using you can install its extension in Visual Studio it is the way go to extensions and install this github copilot before that you need to grant access using your github account and after that definitely try out this tool you will uh, it will increase your programming speed and uh, programming efficiency as well so it can be used in any language let's suppose python is very much useful because various Python scripts are there to sort numbers let's suppose to sort numbers it will give you these scripts in minutes you don't need to waste time inside stack overflow websites so you will see sort numbers you will see Python script it will also prompt you you will see that to sort ascending order you will see that so all these scripts are very much available for you using this uh, github copilot I have shown you each, each and every example and in javascript let's suppose you want to declare some very basic methods let's suppose we need to declare some data declare array of five numbers so basically if you just write like this it will automatically declare the array for you so you will see that automatically it has declared five numbers array so if I change this comment declare array of 105 numbers so once again if I do this If I declare this, you will see that. You can also declare string array as well. Declare five string names in array. So you will see that five names are being generated by this John Jan you will see that so you can also generate data as well using this extension so all such things you can do I have shown you inside the single video so definitely try this tool and please hit the like button subscribe to the channel and I will be seeing you in the next video